This is the third video in our Dividing Radical series. In the last video, we looked at these kind of problems. The first thing we said to look for is if perhaps the top and the bottom could reduce any. Well, it can't. Since it can't reduce, the next thing we do is write these separately so that we're just looking at one radical at a time. We have a radical in the denominator, and we know we're going to have to multiply by something to get rid of that radical. Since it's the fifth root, we're going to have to multiply by the fifth root of something, but we've got to choose the correct something. If we're going to be able to simplify the fifth root of something, it needs to be five identical factors. Take a look at this three. That's three to the first. I only have one three. For me to be able to bring a three out, I need to have five threes. I only have one. That means I need to supply four more. So this needs to be three to the fourth. I also have an x squared in the denominator. I need to have a total of five x's. I only have two to begin with, so I need to supply three more. So what you're going to multiply by top and bottom is the fifth root of 3 to the 4th x cubed. Of course you multiply top and bottom by the same value because that really means you're multiplying by 1. To multiply this it's a matter of just looking at the fifth root of something times the fifth root of something is just the fifth root of their product. The bottom we're going to be able to bring something out of the radical sign because we supplied enough factors. So here's what happens. It stays the fifth root of 2 times 3 to the 4th and then times x cubed. We'll clean that up in a second. The bottom, 3x squared times 3 to the 4th x cubed. We still need to clean that up a bit. I've rewritten the bottom so that these like terms are next to each other, 3 to the 1st times 3 to the 4th, and the x's, x squared times x cubed. All I did on the top was take care of this 3 to the 4th, which is 81. The top, I just left alone for a second, but on the bottom, this 3 to the 1st times 3 to the 4th, using your exponent law, is 3 to the 5th. x squared times x cubed, using your exponent law, keep the base, add the exponents, gives me x to the 5th. Now I can take something out of the denominator. The 5th root of 3 to the 5th is 3. The 5th root of x to the 5th is x. That was the whole purpose in doing this whole mess, was to be able to bring something out of the radical. All I did on the top was simplify 2 times 81 to give me 162. You may look at this thinking, boy, 162 is a big number, and I bet I could factor tree it out and be able to simplify it. It won't. There are some factors, but to be able to simplify this, I would need five identical factors, and there are not five identical factors in 162. Same thing. See if you can perhaps reduce this, which you cannot. So that says, all right, let's separate them out. I wrote this as 2 times x cubed just to remind you that it's two different things down here in the denominator that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to have to multiply by the fourth root of something, and what that something is, is 2 cubed times x. Now where that comes from is this. This is 2 to the first. To be able to simplify the fourth root of something, I need four identical factors. I have 1, 2, I need to supply 3 more. I have 3 x's, I only need 4, so I just need to supply 1 more. Multiplying this up using the exponent law, 2 to the first times 2 cubed is 2 to the fourth. x cubed times x to the first is x to the fourth. The top is a matter of fourth root of something times the fourth root of something is just the fourth root of their product. Finish the arithmetic on the top here. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 5, that's the 40, and the x is just hanging around. On the bottom, the fourth root of 2 to the fourth is 2, and the fourth root of x to the fourth is x. This is completely simplified. You cannot reduce that x with x or 2 with the 40 because this is inside a radical. This is not. Now, different kind of problem. This is the first time we have seen a binomial in the denominator with a radical. And the logical choice is probably to think about multiplying by the square root of 5. And if we do that, look what happens. This becomes 2 radical 5. Radical 5 times radical 5 does give me 5. That's now rational, but look what happened here. We picked up a radical. So multiplying by the monomial square root of 5 over square root of 5 doesn't help me any. What I really need to multiply by is this binomial setup. Notice it's the same two terms, 2 and 2, radical 5, radical 5. In this it was plus, so the thing I multiply by is minus. These two things are called conjugates, and the reason we choose this is that this is a special product. If I put these in parentheses, 
and think about multiplying binomial times binomial, I have to think about FOIL. So 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times negative radical 5 is negative 2 radical 5. 2 times radical 5 here is a positive 2 radical 5. And then a positive times a negative is a negative. And radical 5 times radical 5 is 5. Take a look at this expression now. Negative 2 radical 5, positive 2 radical 5 cancel out. In this type of scenario where you have chosen this correctly, same two terms but with an opposite sign in the middle, you will always have middle terms cancel out. So what this looks like a little more simply is just 4 minus 5 because all you really have to do is 2 times 2. Front times front is 4 minus back times back. Radical 5 times radical 5 is 5. The top is just a distributive property situation, which gives us 6 minus 3 radical 5. 4 minus 5 gives me negative 1, and then I can distribute the negative 1 up through the top. A negative 1 divided into 6 is a negative, and negative divided by negative gives me a positive. All right, I have a denominator of 5 plus radical 2. What I need to do is keep the 5, keep the radical 2, but change that sign. So I'm going to multiply by 5 minus the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom. The top is just distributive property. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times radical 2 is 4 times radical 2. The bottom, we've agreed we don't have to do the full-blown FOIL. All we have to do is front times front, which is 25, minus, because that's a positive times a negative, radical 2 times radical 2 is a plain old ordinary 2. Let me remind you why that is. Radical 2 times radical 2 is the same thing as the square root of 2 squared, because the exponent law would say keep the base, add the exponents. Square root and square cancel out, just leaving the number behind. Do simple arithmetic in the denominator, and you're finished. A little more complicated when you have a coefficient, but it's still the same process. Look at the denominator, and you need to multiply by this exact denominator with a different sign in the middle. So we're multiplying by 2 radical 2 minus 3 on the top and the bottom. This is going to require a little bit more work on the top. We're going to have to actually do the whole FOIL. So to FOIL this out, I went ahead and wrote this up top. And if that helps you, go over to the side or the top of your paper and write that product down. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. The outside is 3 radical 2 times 3, which is just 9 radical 2. The inside, 5 times radical 2 is 10 radical 2. And the last is just plain old negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. The bottom does not require a full foil. It is just front times front and back times back. Here's the product written out for front times front. 2 times 2 gives me that 4. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2, which is what gives me the 8. It is minus 9 because 3 times 3 is plain old 9. Up top here, we've got some simplifying to do. First thing, negative 9 radical 2 and negative 10 radical 2 is negative 19 radical 2. And 6 times 2 is just 12. I also went ahead and did the bottom. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. I still have some like terms right there. And that's why I'm going to get 27 minus 19 radical 2. Since you have a negative in the denominator, I can distribute that up through the top. And that just changes the signs to give us negative 27 plus 19 radical 2.